My name's Wayne Webb of the uh, Wadandi people. I'm Joe Dorch. I'm an adjunct research fellow in archaeology at the University of Western Australia. I've been involved with Devil's Lair since uh, my own childhood when my old, my old man, my dad, was working there uh, as a curator of archaeology at the WA Museum. The so Devil's Lair is a limestone cave formed in the dune limestone that we get in Western Australia. It's located in the far southwest corner of the Cape's Lewin Naturalist area. So the cave is highly significant because it preserves the remains of Aboriginal camps. People camped there, left evidence behind, such as stone tools, bone tools, bone remains from animals they ate. The Devil's Lair gets its name from the um, paleontologist Duncan Merrilies who noticed the activities of Tasmanian devils. So they were once common on the mainland in Australia. Uh, coincidentally, um, it's also called Nalamai by the Wadani people, and there are strong spiritual associations as well. Well, uh, around you know the early 80s is uh, when we really got interested in uh, doing the works with uh, Charlie Deutsch from the WA Museum, finding the uh, skeletal remains and stuff like that, and they're showing us all that sort of stuff. You know, it really kicked off our interest in the whole thing about um, working in the caves with them. Uh, a lot of people find Devil's Lair highly significant and um, uh, it's highly significant for the Wayne people as an archive of their history, an important place in its own right for them. It's also uh, of global interest, a uh, global significance, because it has evidence of people camping uh, in the southwest corner of Australia 48,000 years ago. And that's uh, among the earliest evidence for modern human activity. People like you or me camping and doing normal modern human things uh, way back 48,000 years ago. It's earlier than any clear evidence from Europe. Um, it's among the earliest evidence worldwide outside Africa for the presence of people. We got told stories about what the caves didn't mean to us as burial chambers. So when we actually got involved in Devil's Lair, it actually just showed that all the stories we were told were actually true. It goes to prove that our people have been in this area for thousands and thousands of years and it just cemented the whole storylines from our old people.